So welcome back to the channel. I'm Sunny, and a couple of weeks ago I had an interesting issue. Azure Key Vault stole my password. <laughs> So let's get straight into it. So apart from the clickbaity title, uh, this is going to cause you grief if you don't know the standard behavior of Azure Key Vault and how it handles certificates. So I had an interesting issue uh, a couple of weeks ago where I uploaded a PFX with the correct password into Azure Key Vault and then when I exported it, the password no longer worked. This is quite tricky to figure out because I was trying to automate it so I wasn't actually going into the portal and doing things, which made it a bit more tricky to understand what was actually happening. I thought it was the configuration issue because I haven't actually used Terraform to use certificate authentication before, so I was banging my head against the wall for a bit. Then I realized the password wasn't right. I looked on the internet and I found a script and the script will pretty much um, download the certificate and then set the password on the file. Um, so before this uh, video, I actually jumped on the internet, did a quick search. I found a Microsoft document right here and turns out it's a documented thing, but it's even worse than I thought. So it says only require a certificate password when you import the certificate in the Key Vault. Key Vault doesn't save the associated password, but here's a kick I didn't know. When you export the certificate, the password is blank. So now your PFX certificate isn't secure. I didn't know it was blank. I thought it just lost the password and had nothing and you just couldn't import it. But it turns out it's blank. So that's even worse. Um, but then I also realized that the script that I found on the internet is actually documented by Microsoft too. I didn't actually copy this one, but I found one on the internet and I sort of rejigged it a little. Uh, which one was it here? So just added some parameters and then just set the path um, and I've got it to retrieve a secret from Azure Key Vault um, and I'll show you that later and then basically it grabs a certificate it does some conversions and then it basically uh, writes the the PFX with the new password so if you have a look at Azure Key Vault here so I've got a certificate and um, just for the sake of it I'm going to download this and show you that the password's actually blank uh, I've already downloaded it, but I'll do it again. So it's brackets one. Uh, so that's this one. So yeah, if you look at this, yeah. So yeah, that's quite interesting that it just lets you download a blank um, or unsecure certificate. If you're trying to automate it, uh, this is going to be, I guess, important for you to extract the certificate and set the password. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the video. Thank you all for the support so far. I just signed up to buymeacoffee.com. So now you can show your appreciation by buying me a coffee. So let me do you a favor and I'll pause the video right now. Just kidding. Links are below. Enjoy the rest of the video. So I've actually got a secret here in Key Vault and this is a secret that was used to create the certificate. Um, so I've obviously got the certificate here. So what I'm going to do is run this script and the script is actually going to grab that secret and set it as the password. So let me clean up anything I played with. So it adds export to the name. So you can see here I've got a secret. So uh, actually I've got it here. So this is the actual, this is the original secret. So you can see here I've got the uh, original file right here. And uh, you can see if I set anything, it won't work. And that one will. So I'm just going to run this command, which will run that script and retrieve the certificate and the, and the secret and then set it on the file. So we're just going to run it. So you can see here I've got an export, but let me copy this first. So you can see if I uh, try to import this certificate, and I set that password. Well, let's set something random first. So you can see there it is set and it's set. So that's it. That's all I really wanted to show. So this is gonna be a quick video. I've also updated a few scripts from episode four. So if you've used any from episode four, there's one that I've got, which is uh, to basically create a Terraform service principle, which is just a service principle. Well, it doesn't assign contributor now. It turns out to default permission, so I removed it. Um, and then it will randomly generate a password for you. And uh, what I added was it actually creates the providers.tf file for you and it adds specific information that you need for it to work. And then it also writes the password just to a text file just for the sake of it. Obviously, it's not something you do in a real world scenario, but for demos, super handy. I've also got code again uh, in GitHub 
which will basically create a, a resource group in a key vault. So it generates random names, so you can just download it and run it. I've also got a, a random script here I just created because creating uh, access policies for key vaults is just a, a little annoying because you need to provide your object ID. So it just uses PowerShell, grabs your object ID if you're logged in. And then it basically just creates a new key vault policy that will give you most of the permissions for secrets and certificates. So specific for this demo. And then I've got outputs as well. So when you apply it, it'll tell you what the secret name is and what the key vault name is, which you obviously need to execute your script. So that's pretty much it. I thought I'd create this quick video. Hopefully it helps someone out there because it's definitely something I learned, especially if you're trying to integrate um, Azure Key Vault into your pipelines. All the code is in GitHub, so script is there as well. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and I'm signing out. See ya.